Welcome back guys to another hair tutorial with Gajo M and um, please click on that notification bell and kindly subscribe if you haven't. So for this tutorial I am going to be using Expression Ultra Braid Hair and this is 100% Kinecolon hair. But you can use any kind of hair guys, um, it's really not a big deal, as long as it's braiding hair. So I'm just going to take it out of the packaging. I will fluff off the ends later on in the video. So for now, I'll proceed to detangle the hair and also remove the rubber band from it so that I can split it in half. Because I don't want my ponytail to be too thick, but to each his own guys. like. <laughs> hair and makeup is not that serious guys and the main aim is just to have fun with it so yeah as this step is very important so that at the end of your ponytail at the end it's it's you're able to to hold it in place and it creates a more natural look so I already split my hair into two and I'm going to use water guys throughout the video so that it helps me with just to tame the ends because we are working with braiding hair and it, get, it can get a bit messy and tangled and things like that. So for this tutorial you can use bangles or any hooped earrings. So I'm going to proceed to take out a piece of hair and put that aside. That is going to be the one, the hair that helps us conceal that ribbon on the top of the hair. So you're going to take two of your bangles and I'm going to need to secure that on top. Secure your first bangle with something, maybe a clip or a bobby pin, but I'll use a pin for this. So you're, you want to create an eye at the back of your, of that ponytail. And then pull through, pull the ponytail through the eye at the back. <laughs> what am I saying? Like, guys, you, I hope you guys are following this, but it will be clearer on the second loop. And then your hair is at the back of the, the loop. So you want to bring that forward through the loop. You want to pull your hair through. So that at the end of this move, your hair is on top of, it's in front of the second loop. So for the third ring, you pull it through your hair and then you place it underneath that previous ring. And then it creates, I don't know if you can see, you see? It creates an eye at the back so that's what you want to see and then through the eye you pull through the hair you see that eye so you're going to pull that hair all of that braiding hair through that loop through that eye shape and then once that move is completed you can just adjust it so that the rings are laying flat so you want to pull your ponytail through that last ring so that the, the hair is in front of that loop. So let me slow this one up for you so you can see clearly. So the new ring that you insert, it crosses the other ring through the back. So it, it goes underneath that existing ring and then it crosses it and then you put it down. Just check. Let me just fix it up for you. It crosses it through the back. You can see. And then you pull it down to create the ring at the back. So the eye shape should always be at the back. 
and then you pull your hair your whole ponytail through that So guys this step is optional you can just create a braid in the middle of that ponytail just to create a decorative element to it and then just twist it up or yeah or you can continue with the rings but I had run out of rings but you can see at the end of the tutorial on the final look that I do have like more rings to it I went to get some more but either way you can just rock it the way you want you can just be creative on it so yeah thank you guys for watching i will attach on the top right up there i will just attach some of the videos that are related to this especially for install see how i installed this ponytail on another video that this is like episode one of the how to use jewelry on your hair series and thank you guys for watching and please do give this video a thumbs up and go down to the comment section and kindly leave a comment or a suggestion on what more you want to see from my content thank you guys so so much and yeah see you next time